Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we doing today? Well, I figured since it's, uh, the year's almost up, we're almost at the end part of, uh, what the fuck? Of July. <laughs> I almost forgot it was July. Uh, I figured it'd be a good time to kind of do a quick check and see what banners are actually left. What's left for me to actually worry about in Fago this year? So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it, and I hope it's something to do and listen to as we continue to wait for Nero Fest to come out. Because I realized uh, it's probably going to be a while. I actually, when I was doing a quick look here, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot this banner has to happen before summer as well. So, let's get into it. And feel free to tell me what you're probably going to be stopping for and what you're going to be summoning for. Or what you're most excited for. So obviously, I'm going to start Nero Fest. It should be hopefully announced soon. Uh, probably whenever this campaign ends for the... Uh, either right before this campaign, the campaign that just released now, which is the ending of the story... Uh, grinding story quest stuff. Uh, should, should be somewhere in between there, but hopefully Nero Fest soon. That's obvious. Uh, here's something I completely forgot, that Prisma Ilya does come back. <laughs> This is also where Miyu's strengthening comes from. This is where she gets a uh, end Noble Phantasm buff here, which makes her much better than she was previously, because she was not very good. They've removed this demerit that she had for some reason, and they've given her two, a new effect, and they've upgraded one of the previous effects. And on the summoning campaign itself, you got Ilya, and then you have Summer Ilya, and then you have Miyu. No Chloe, because she's a free-to-play unit. And there's nothing they can do. Well, not yet. They'll be, uh, be out soon. Thankfully, I already have Ilya. I already have Summer Ilya. And I already have Miyu. So I don't have to worry about this banner at all. So that's pretty easy for me. I just get to have their strengthening. Next, we have the Caldea Adventure pre-release campaign. Which I think this has a summoning campaign tied to it. Yeah, it sure does. Which features Drake. It features the good friend pirates. Uh, and Bonnie and Mary Reed. Drake and Calamity Jane. Uh, I actually have it, almost every unit on here except for ne Nemo. <laughs> Nemo is the only one I'm missing, but because these are all... Actually, Calamity Jane is limited, funny enough. The others on here, though, they're not limited. So I don't really see a point for going for them. Chances are the Craft Essence, maybe. Because these are actually kind of rare nowadays. The 2016, 2017, 2018... 2019 2020 craft essences but there's so many in them that the chances of you actually pulling the craft essence that you need specifically super crazy low so no use in trying to go for it in that in that instance but it is a banner coming up uh let's move on uh next the caldea summer adventure i may as well look at this real quick this is one i actually plan to summon on Oh boy, but I'm not going to be summoning on the male one, which features Achilles and Mand Mandricardo, because I already have both of these. Is this the year where they only had two male summer outfits? Or is it- no, no, Blackbeard gets one. That's why he's not featured on the banner. <laughs> That's why- okay, no. I was like wondering, why is there only two dudes? And I was like, oh, it's because Blackbeard got one. Okay. But yeah, this one has Okita- Okita Alter, Summer. Anastasia and Vi and uh, Charlotte Corday as a caster, and then in the second part, which is the one I'm probably the most interested in, has Kama, it has Canis, and it has Sai Shogun. Sh not Shogun. Shona Shonagin? Shonagin. Shonagin? It's so crazy close to Shonen, Shogun, but it's just slightly off that it's screwing up my pronunciation of it. But yeah, this banner I'm definitely, uh, is the my main focus. The other one I'm definitely going to be doing a couple summons for as well. But I would much rather have this one, just because I'm a big fan of Say, funny enough. I really like her. And I really like her design as well. But this one, also pretty good. I wouldn't mind having, in theory, I would love to have all of these. Just have <laughs> all six of them and call it a day. Uh, that's not how gotcha luck the go works though, <laughs> so we'll see when the actual day comes. Uh, then next after that, I believe there's one tied to the interlude campaign. Yeah, there's a summoning campaign tied to the interlude campaign. Which this one has old Okita Altar and Van Gogh. Oh, I didn't know Van Gogh would be coming up so soon. That's kind of annoying. Oh man. 
I completely forgot. Maybe my in my mind, I just had to blank her out just because I was like, there was too much for me to worry about at any given point in summoning. But I really like Van Gogh, and I kind of like her the the playstyle that she has, and I really want her at the same time. And I already have Okita, so I don't have to worry about getting Okita Alter. <laughs> uh, the the only thing I have to worry about with this one is just getting her. Um, is it a strengthening? Yeah, it's a strengthening. That's all I need to worry about. But yeah, that's something to definitely think about and worry about. That and it's after summer. That's just mean. Oh yeah, I forgot that they had a Melty Blood. Did, did, was this just Saber? <laughs> Here's just a banner with Saber on it. I mean, she's Saber is really fucking good. So it's not like it's not crazy to think like, hey, why would you ever summon for Saber? Oh, do all these craft businesses also just have Saber on them? That's pretty funny. Well, thankfully for me, I think I already have my Saber. Uh, she's an insanely good unit, though. So I can see a couple people just going for vanilla Saber and trying to get her. Not just because she's a fan favorite, but because the strength thing that she got finally made her uh, a good unit. I know for years it was like the running joke of like, why is the poster child for Fate one of the worst units in the entire game? The one that's supposed to be the... When you think of Saber, it's literally her. Why is she so trash? And now they've made her so insanely good that it's hard to imagine using any kind of other AoE buster Saber. Not to say other types of Saber, because there's obviously Murmasa and other types. But, I, you know, for a year one Saber, she's insane. <laughs> really crazy good. Alright, let's move on. Is there one for Halloween comeback? I actually don't remember if there is. Double EXP, login bonus, strengthenings. Doesn't look like there's a banner tied to this. Because I guess the banner would just be... I mean, I guess if I click on Halloween Trilogy, that should show me. Yeah, there we go. Summoning campaign for Halloween Trilogy. This is an, a, a weird group of dudes. Cleopatra, Osaka Behime, Vlad, Vlad III, Extra, Elizabeth... Yeah, they're all Halloween banner units. Naito, Yang, Carmilla, Wu, Ibaraki, Tamamo Cap, Penth, uh, Caesar, Robin Hood. Basically everyone but the OG Tamamo, who was the first Halloween five-star unit, but she doesn't actually factor into the story at all. It's maybe the funniest thing about <laughs> that first year of Halloween is that Tamamo was the banner unit and she was not involved in the story whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, and they even have the rate up craft essences. Oh, this would be a great time to get. Well, thankfully, I think I already have Dangerous Beast, Max and Limit Broken, and same goes for uh, Trick Art Treatment. I could use more copies of Halloween Petite Devil, though. But I don't need any of these units. <laughs> I have already have I already have Cleopatra. I already have Sakabe uh, Hime. I think I already have Vlad. I have the, the other Vlad, the religious Vlad. I have Liz, I have Nido, I have Yan, I have Carmilla, I have Little Wu, I have Ibaraki. I have literally everyone. There's literally no reason for me to summon on this, so I don't have to worry about it. Which works for me. But that is a banner coming up. What an interesting banner to release. Anyway, I'm not even sure if we would get this. The Fake Grand or Crown Revel second season Blu-ray. Maybe they'll just come up with a reason for us to summon for Irish Goggle. This is just a banner that features her on it, because she had that big anime episode where she got into like a streaming war with uh Osaka Bahimi and there's like that's where holy shit comes from yeah and she's on here limited rate up and then there's also a new craft essence that's not on rate up they want you to be very clear about that this is not on rate up it's just here to hang out crystallize winter start mp with 60 percent um i really wish i had arish or arish she's like my white whale She's the, the, the one unit that I did a summon video for that almost killed the, the the chance of there ever being more Fago videos. Just because of how devastated I was by the end of that, hol uh, not Halloween, Christmas banner that she released. It was a really bad time. But you know, maybe times are different now. Maybe I can try again. I'll see. I'll see if I can figure it out. But there's more stuff to worry about for this year. Halloween 2021. This one I am going to be summoning on. Because this one features uh, Zenobia, and I really like Zenobia. And then we also have uh, Jacques de Molay, aka the girl version of the one from Arcade. Not the completely different, 
in the fact that one's a woman and the other one's a man. And this one is a foreigner, and I think he was a saber in arcade. Yeah. Then I think that sounds about right. I don't know 100% about him other than he was male, and a lot of people were angry that we did not get the male version. And then the summoning campaign, too, has Napoleon, uh, Dion, and Betty, who I already all have, so I don't have to worry about that. And, yeah, this is the only banner I think I have to worry about. And I only really want the four star in this. Jack seems cool, but really it's all about her. I'm going to try my best to try and go for her. And then also I can get some some of these Halloween seeds. I love Halloween. Um, big proponent of it. So I also always try and get all the Halloween seeds that I can because I think it's cool. Uh, I was so sad that one year where they didn't do Halloween. It felt wrong. Felt gross and disgusting. But there we go. Next, the Fate Apocrypha Blue. Were they still releasing Apocrypha stuff to this point? That's crazy. Anyway, here's a banner that has Jean and Saber of Stealth on it, and then every dude from Extra on it, I think. Yeah, absolutely every dude from Extra. Not from Extra, I'm sorry. From Fate Apocrypha. Um. No real interest in this either. <laughs> Except for maybe Summer Jean. I really like Summer Jean. Um, I would like to get her and stuff like that, but yeah, for the most part, I think this would be a pretty easy skip for me. Not the biggest fan of Apocrypha. I think I'm actually a bigger fan of the story event of Apocrypha that is told in Fate Grand Order. I thought that was actually a very nice... Um, I thought it was better written than the actual Apocrypha anime that I watched, but uh, not everyone loves Apocrypha from what I understand, and I can understand why. Anyway, Main Quest Clear Aid Campaign Part 1. Doesn't look like there's any banner to this, so nothing for me to wear, but limited missions. So something to keep in mind. Gudaguda Yamate Koko 2020 rerun. I already have Himiko, so I think I'll be 100% okay. I also have Hijikata at NP2, and I don't wish for any more copies. Okita, I would actually kind of like, and Hajime, who. Saito Hajime, who kind of looks like. Um. A Muppets character to me. I kind of would like him, actually. Hmm. I'll have to see how this banner breaks down when we get it. Because, again, when we get it, we'll have pity and stuff. So I doubt that it's going to look like that. Now, or maybe it does look like this by this point. They had pity. So maybe I'll just wait for a time. For oh, yeah, he's an all-time rate up. So I just wait for the day where he's featured with Okita and see if I can get either one of them on a saber. Hmm. I'll think about it. 24 million download campaign. Thankfully, on this summoning campaign, it's... Oh, fuck. I, I didn't know Kentucky was on it. We have Ibuki, Doji, um, Kentucky, and uh, Suna. Uh, Suna I still need, but he's not limited, so I don't worry about him. Kentucky I would really have. I think Kentucky's a cool dude. And I always like it whenever there's a story with Kentucky. Because I think he's awesome. And I like him. I think he's a real bro. So I would like to have him for that reason and that reason alone. I know he does like crazy damage as a single target berserker, but the thing I care about most is that he's pretty golden. And I think he's a cool dude. Like who what's not to love about Kentucky when you just look at him? That just radiates cool dude energy and anything he does. So maybe I'm gonna have to figure out the summon for and thankfully I already have a Buki Doji. If I didn't, I would be summoning on this for her. <laughs> But thankfully, I already have her, so I really only have to worry about Kentucky in this instance. So we'll see. And then the main quest, Clear Kate. Oh man, is this a. Please don't be a banner with Ryko on it. Oh, okay, thank God. Now, I think we're actually in November, so here's a twist of fate. Boom, hit you, Hardy Boy style. Every year for Fago, we have a Thanksgiving banner. So we're gonna have to have another Thanksgiving banner. And let's see, last year, the summoning campaign had. Benny Enma, Erish Goggle, uh, Nero Summer, first the King of Son and BB Summer. So I would expect another group of five dudes. Man, I don't know. It could be literally anyone on this one. Man, wouldn't it be funny if they put Morgan on this? <laughs> Had her have another rate of the three rate ups in a single year. Uh, that'd be kind of hilarious if they uh, ended up doing it. But it's really a, a grab bag. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason for who they pick. This is like the weirdest group of five dudes to put on a banner together. 
I don't think they have any ties to each other whatsoever, other than maybe like, hey, um, Nero is a saber face, a BB is a Sakura face, Irish Goggle is a Rin face, and then I guess King Asan and Benny Enma are just chilling, hanging out with each other. Oh yeah, King Asan is an Irish Goggle's NP, and so is Irish Goggle, isn't she? Yeah, I'm pretty sure both of them show up in her noble fan. No, wait, no. No, it's in. Never mind. Yeah, right. It's the Medjeds and the Hassan. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I I remember now. Okay. Um. Yeah, the Medjeds. Okay, interesting. Either way, Thanksgiving. I expect another five random dudes. We'll see who it ends up being. It could be literally anyone, though. And next, Guda Guda Close Call 2021, which features Izumi no Okoni, Oda Nobunaga Berserker, Izo, and Mori. Um, I still need more NP copies for Mori. And then the Summon Campaign 2 has Ryoma Lancer, Demon King Nobunaga, Izo, uh, Summer Okita, and more Mori. Hmm. I'm not sure how much I actually. I don't. I don't know actually very much about. Okoni over here other than she's like a puppet master I'll have to look into it I'm not super digging her vibes though but I am digging the vibes of five star Ryoma so I kind of want to go for Ryoma on this one mm, this is going to be tough because it's near the end of the year it's November when we're going into December and once we get into December that's when things actually start to legitimately heat up with some crazy stuff to be released so it's something to kind of keep in the back of my mind. But maybe I'll go for it for a couple summons. And I do still need my NP copies of Mori. So just to get him NP5, that'd be nice. Uh, next, we're almost at the end of the year. Is there anything related to this? No, but I had to check. Interlude Campaign. Now there has to be something related to this. Yep. Interlude Campaign 18, which should feature the return of Hokusai and Galatea. I actually really like Hokusai, so I wouldn't mind going for Hokusai. And Galatea... Uh, that's a unit, for sure. A unit of all time. But no real interest on my side. Even though I did like her in the story, I don't think her actual unit itself is a unit I'm super interested in. Mm, shame, but it is what it is on that part. Especially being a Berserker. And there's a certain level of... I already have plenty of Berserkers for every occasion so you really need to sand out if you're going to be a new berserker being released and she's not really any of that shame because i i do like greek stuff and she is a greek unit but yeah i'm not sure i'll have to think about if i'm going to be going for hokusai my inner feeling feels like throw one multi see what happens but it's in december and that's the worst time to release stuff to be honest christmas 2021 which features who was released for christmas 2021 no one wait really there was no one released for no new units released for christmas well lucky for me man that's right this is the year that everything was all weird there was like no reruns or there was a rerun and things was just weird because they were hyping up for the new year to come i guess but yeah this one has scotty it has benny enma it has emia and it has martha um I like Benny Enma a whole bunch. I don't know if I like her enough to be summoning near the end of December. And Scotty I already have, so I don't need to worry about getting again. So that's that banner. Um, the Tungskuska Sanctuary. This one has a banner, for sure. I missed one? The main, the main clear quest campaign? There is a summoning campaign. That's right. That's where This is where Melusane comes back. <laughs> Lancelot, Saber, and Percival. I think this is... Oh, fuck. Okay. I'll probably have to actually go for... I didn't go for Melusane really that hard in, when she first released. Because I think in the back of my mind I said, well, she releases later on in the year. So I'll just get her then. And this is probably where I'll get her. Uh, or try to get her at least. Oh, that's kind of annoying though. I, yeah, I kind of forgot how late into the year she is. I was like, I remember the end of the year was kind of rough, and I couldn't remember why. <laughs> this is one of the reasons. So I think I'll definitely be trying to at least get her. 
<sighs> and then we have Tungska, which features Tai Gong Wang and Nigid Dabranya, Dabranya Nikitich. Okay, too bad. Dobranya. Anyway, uh, I'm really going to be going for her, and I don't know very much about Tai Wang Gong. Tai Gong Wang, he fishes. I understand that he likes to fish, and that he kind of reminds me of that one Genshin character. And that's about it. The one who likes to fish, and is poor, and has no money. Zhang Li doesn't like the fish? He likes a lot of things, but I don't think he's a fisher. He's not really a fish man. Hmm. No. Doesn't like the fish. Alright, fine. But either way, I'm going for the four star on this one and hoping that I don't get unlucky and don't get the and end up getting the five star instead. Uh, not to say that I literally don't know anything about what either unit do. I just basing this off of pure looks here. And finally. And because this is the start of January, and it's the end of the start of the new year. The New Year Campaign, which features... dun dun dun, dun Koyaskaya of Darkness this time. The gritty, fucked up version of Koyaskaya of Light. <laughs> and I think there's a bunch of other limited rate-ups as well with Skahawk, um, Ushi Alter... Male Saber, Iskandar, Leonardo da Vinci, and King Hassan. But I'll definitely be trying to go for her on this one. At this point, just only because I should get both of them at this point. If I have one, may as well try and get for the other one. And then from that point on, this is going to require me to do more thinking. Because I had to plan out a whole bunch. That's right, and then Koya Sky of Light also returns <laughs> on January 10th. So if you missed out on her, you can get her again. She comes back pretty quickly, which is pretty crazy. But anyway, that's something for future Wokey to handle. And that is it for all the banners that are going to be remaining for this year. So yeah, in terms of what I'm going to be going for, the big ones are obviously in December. It's uh, Tung Tunguska, Tunguska, and then the main quest clear aid campaign, which I'll get another chance at Melusain. Um... Let's go here. I really want to go for Ryoma over here. I want to try for him. That's one for right there. Maybe some stuff on Kentucky. Maybe. I'm trying to like put in how many. If I was going to say how many would be the minimum amount of summons, I would say Melusane feels like a six. Tunguska. Tunguski. Um, feels like a three to me. Three multis. Guda Guda also feels like a three multi deal kind of thing to me. Kentucky feels like a like a one or three. It all the kind of depends on whether or not I actually want to try and make a video out of it. And Halloween is another three to five. I feel like because I'm a big fan of Halloween, so I feel like if I don't actually get the stuff that I want early on, I will continue to summon even after I finished recording the video. <laughs> That's just the way I am. I just understand that that's kind of the way I am. And obviously, the summer itself, which is coming up, that's a big one. That feels that's typically a sixer for both. That's typically 12 multis across both. Um, with one having less, if I get the four stars that I want early, or if I get the five star I want, I usually have a cutoff. That's usually how I try and like wrap it around in my head. So yeah, I think this is the big one, which is going to be coming up pretty... Not, I thought it would be pretty soon, but I think it actually is going to be taking much longer, and it might take a month before summer <laughs> comes up. There was like a brief moment where I was kind of buying into people saying, Hey, I think they might skip Nero Fest. And we'll go for summer first. And I'm like, hmm, maybe. And now I feel like, okay, no. We're getting summer. We're getting Nero Fest first, and then we're going to get Prismalia. And then we're going to get, like, summer. I think it's going to be a long wait before we get that. At least that's what it currently feels like in my bones. And yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Happy, good luck, and waiting for more stuff to actually happen in Fago. I'll be seeing y'all later, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, so, goodbye. Peace out. Oh yeah, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I keep forgetting that, but it does help the channel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Till next time, peace out.